Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, where the tarot cards and astrology stars come together to help you by combining the visual messages of the tarot and the energy of astrology, you can be prepared for the opportunities and the challenges that are coming your way this month. I hope you will like this video and also press the little bell for notifications when my new videos come out. The tarot card for the first week of the month is the Four of Wands. Happy home, happy family. The tarot card for the second week of the month is the Three of Wands. It shows success and potential in the future. The tarot card for the third week of the month is the Star card. It shows hope and inspiration. The tarot card for the last week of the month is the Nine of Swords. It shows doubt and challenge. Pisces, the tarot card for the first week of the month is the Four of Wands. This is one of the happiest cards in the tarot deck. It combines the energy of the four, which represents positive energy on the material plane, with the wands, which represent happiness and expression. This suggests a good time for success in material and spiritual concerns. There may be a romance or a marriage. Happy home, happy family. Now, as we look down into the astrology, the month begins with some powerful cross currents of energy as five planets are retrograde and will be joined by Jupiter, making it a six-pack. Now, Jupiter is in your third house of the intellect, and it warns you to make sure you know what you need for success. Knowledge is power. There may also be a general sense of confusion in the air, missed messages, and a feeling that everything is sort of going haywire. Be careful with communications, and your partner's ideas as Mercury retrograde in the seventh house is one of the culprits. Now the good news is Venus will go direct in your sixth house of daily routines, and Mars is direct in your eighth house of intuition and passion, bringing positive energy to your ability to get the help you need. Listen, learn, and move slowly. The tarot card for the second week of the month is the Three of Wands. This card shows a man looking off into the distance. His ships have arrived from a foreign land. It suggests, suggests success in the material realms. You may receive help from an influential person or consummate a profitable business deal. Now, as we look into the astrology, week two is a powerful time for reflection and repair, as Mercury retrograde is distancing himself from the sun in your seventh house. This is the house of relationships, legal issues, and coming before the public. Mercury retrograde in this area asks you to review the way you cooperate with your partner both business and personal. It suggests you must understand how you blend your energy with others and the effect it has had on you, them, and the joint energy you present to the world. Cooperation and honesty is a necessary ingredient for success. This is a time to take advantage of working with others or the public before because the new moon will also be in the seventh house, suggesting a new cycle of growth through partners. The tarot card for the third week is the star. It shows a beautiful woman with one foot in the water and one knee on the ground. It shows balance and the ability to transmute energy. This is a very positive omen that suggests you should be optimistic for the future brave in the face of obstacles, and an inspiration to others. Now, as we look into the astrology, the third week begins with a bang, as Mercury goes direct in your seventh house, and Venus in the sixth house will square Uranus 
and that is down, excuse me, Jupiter, and that is down in your third house. Now, Mercury Direct asks you to communicate with your partners. You can heal misunderstandings at this time. Venus in the sixth house will bring an opportunity to improve conditions at work, but a square to Jupiter in the third house of ideas warns you to understand other people may not agree with your ideas. So you have to negotiate a fair deal. There is an opposition between the Sun in the seventh house and Neptune in the first, and this warns you to be careful not to be too self-centered. You may be very aware of your own needs and feelings, but not understand the needs and feelings of others. The tarot card for the final week of the month is the Nine of Swords. It shows a sleepless woman with nine swords hanging over her head. This is a card of personal difficulty, despair, and challenge. You may have to call on all your faith and strength to get through a difficult personal situation. Now, as we look into the astrology, the month ends with the sun entering Libra and the eighth house of your chart, suggesting you have an opportunity to deepen your intuition and your passion. Take this opportunity to connect with partners on a deep, sensual level. Now, Venus in the sixth house of daily routines will square Uranus in the third house of intellect. This is tricky energy, for it pits the needs to be productive with the need to have new experiences. You need to find a way to balance your mind. Mercury in the seventh house of shared energy will trine Uranus in the third house of intellect. This is a good time to develop a new way of thinking and communicating. What you assimilate now will help you in the future. So make some important plans. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores, and it may help you on your spiritual journey. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like this video, subscribe, and ring the little bell to be notified when new videos come out. And if you'd like to arrange a private psychic and spiritual reading with astrology, just go to my website internetpsychicreadings.com or professorastrology.com.